YouTube. And I apologize in advance if doggos are barking. Never tried this before with multicast, so this is gonna be a new experience. Um, please check my stream on YouTube. Okay, I'm looking. Not seeing it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna switch it like this. No. You can go this way. This is so cool. Sorry as I geek out on figuring this out here. I'm gonna make it there so if anyone is watching, they can see. Hi there, I'm doing a uh, live mystery unboxing and multicasting for the first time. So thanks for joining. Uh, I apologize in advance if my dogs bark, I may have to pause momentarily and figure that out. So we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, mystery box um, unboxing. So this I purchased from a plat or one of the plat other platforms. It is 10 pounds. It is a junk jewelry box. So I'm not really sure what's gonna be in it. Um, if there is something that you see during this live that you do want to purchase, um, I can run it on screen. I might run some other things as well. Um, well, everything from this box, I'll just run it even if somebody doesn't say that they might like it or something. But we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I think I'm going to put this on my lap to probably open it because otherwise I don't know if I'll be able to... Maybe I'll just put it on its head. I can't even lift this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to open it. Not cut myself in the process, hopefully. All right. Ah. Okay. And I'm just folding those two parts open because it has my address on it. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Here it is. Ten pounds of jewelry junk is what the listing said. Um, I'm happy to have jewelry junk because sometimes you can have really good stuff and sometimes it can be junk, but I like to craft with jewelry either way. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in here. I'm going to put it back on my lap because I just think it'll be a little easier to show on screen what's in it, but I'm going to have to stand up this time, I think. Oh, geez. All right, let's pull out the first thing. The first thing is, oops, what are those? that like little fashion diamond cut beads I guess it's like um just little beading materials so that's kind of cool that it comes with beading materials that's cool I'm gonna just put that to the side unless anybody's interested in that um all right we got one earring I don't know if there's gonna be another one but one of the things that I think would be cool especially like with um an earring like this because it's got like these floral arrangements is instead of making it an earring it could be turned into like a pendant i'm kind of obsessed with pendants i'm gonna put that one to the side there let's see what else is in here you got a cool little bracelet that's cool put that on that side bob bob sled so General Mills sponsor of the Olympic team. Interesting. That's really cool. It's like a 1998 Olympics thing. Um, there's a little bracelet here. Looks like you can just kind of tie it. 
That is really awesome. That's really cool. What does that say? Samoa? Samoa. Well, that's cool. I like that. That's neat. That's a neat little thing. I'm going to put like these things out on this tray. So later on, I can just kind of, well, the jewel, more of the jewelry pieces anyway, so I can kind of just push it around. Let me see if I can pin. I don't know. Nothing to pin really. Ah, all right. Toe rings. Toe rings. Those are like brand new toe rings. Look at that. So I could run these toe rings. That's very cool. Toe rings. I like this box. This is a fun box already. Oh my. Look at that. If your name or your or your um, letter started with an M, the name of your name starts with an M. This is a really cool big like door handle or a uh, keychain thing. Or if you have a mom, you could do that with, you could put that on for your mom. All right, this is, let's see. Let's see what else we got in here. There is a Claire's um, skull. Even though he's new and attached, he is a little bit um, broken, I think. So he's more of a craft piece, that's for sure. There is... Ugh, some of this is a little bit dirty. Untangled. So we have all this and it's all kind of like tangled and dirty, but I mean, it's expected It's a junk jewelry lot. I am trying to untangle it right now. Okay, so we got one piece. That one's kind of dirty though. We'll need to clean that. I got a jewelry thing that will clean now. There is a little bitty, uh, I don't know what's attached to this. That's kind of odd. Weird. Like two little things. I don't know. Anywho, there is a nice little pendant with a leaf. It does need to be fixed, it looks like. So that is definitely part of the junk crafting material we'll put over there. There is this silver colored brown plastic um, bracelet bangle. It's like acrylic or something, but made to look silver. That's really cool. There's this. I think it needs to be washed. It just feels a little bit dirty. So I'm going to put that in the needs to be washed pile. It's a little choker. I swear I have like three of those now. One is black and one is uh, white and one is um, blue now. All right. We got, ooh, this is kind of cool. This is like a bracelet. Um... Hi everyone, welcome in. Thanks for joining. Um, I am doing an unboxing live of a junk jewelry box that I purchased from a platform. Um, so a lot of the items in here are crafting material, but there are some like new things. Like, look, I found new toe rings. Um, so every so often, if you stick with me, I'll turn my little turntable around that I'm putting it down on. You can tell me if you want me to run something, I'll be happy to run it. Run it. Um, this item does look mainly craft ability but still really cool a lot of little rhinestones are falling off and missing but still could be something really cool um if you put like your own rhinestones on it still looks neat definitely still looks neat i like it i could add new rhinestones on it you could add new rhinestones on it be a neat thing we got one earring right now with some cool brown beads so that's definitely a craft real crafting piece there and another earring with a crafting piece. We're going to put those one earring sections in uh got a one earring pile going. If you're just joining, I'll push it down for a sec and just kind of spin it so you can kind of see it what we got so far. Oh, we also got these beads. 
We got a couple of dirty pieces. I'm putting the dirty pieces to the side because nobody wants dirty pieces. I'll clean those. But that's kind of what we got going on right now. Different things. We got a cute little bracelet with flowers. Um, it's a little bit, it's got a little bit of the little strings hanging off, but still cute nonetheless. Go ahead and put that with the bracelet pile. And this box is 10 pounds, by the way. I put it on my lap because I don't know where to put it on the table. I'm, ooh, this thing feels weird. Sorry. That, this, ew, ew. I'm going to put that over there. That felt really gross. It was like a rubber band thing and it did not feel good. Um, she, my hands. All right. This is, um, it's like an, a necklace, a Lauren Conrad Coles necklace, brand new in the package. A little bit, the package is a little bit dirty or not. Did I say Lauren Conrad? I hope I said that. It is like, um, more of a copper tone. At least that way it's how it looks to me. And it's got like a little bar with little rain. my time limit was up for whatnot today oh all right sorry about that momentary phone issue but there's that that's kind of cool let's see got another one of those cuff things kind of like that other bracelet this one's um like faux leather i think it's faux leather i don't know if it's real leather it doesn't say anything about it being real leather but it looks pretty much intact oh there is a little bit of damage Again, some of the rhinestones are missing because, you know, this is a junk jewelry lot. Um, and we are opening it live. But if you like to do jewelry repair and make your own thing, you can definitely replace those. So that is something that is available as well. This is a little cute little witch. She's very cute. Kind of falling apart though really cute though um this looks like it's a little teeny tiny unicorn bracelet that was um hand braided so that's cool i think that's cute kind of looks angry though kind of looks angry we're gonna put that in the bracelet pile i'm just gonna put that there it's a little kid's, um, I don't know why this is attached to it, but this is just a little kid's bracelet with little ballerinas. That's really cute. Let me get this off of here because we don't need this part. If anybody's interested in that. If it run anything, um, just let me know if there's something you would like me to run, I will run it. So put those with that. Some of this is a big tangle. Some really cool, oh boy. All right, I don't know what this is. This just looks like a weird bracelet that fell apart. So I'm gonna put that in the real, real junk. This is a cute little bracelet with a shoe. It's like for a little kid, maybe kind of opens and closes like so. That's cool. I like that. I like that it seems to close well, but very, very tiny. Definitely a child size bracelet. This is kind of gross. Um definitely smells like jewelry in here all right we got another wooden bead in bead wooden earring that's like stuck in this bracelet silver colored bracelet that is missing a bead definitely good for crafting maybe i should have put this under crafting i wonder if i can change my category to edit and put under crafting. 
Mm. Let's see. I don't know. Too complex. Anywho. Hi there. Welcome in. What I'm doing is opening a uh, mystery jewelry junk craft lot live. Um, I'm having everything on my little turntable here below. If you see something that you're interested in, let me know. This one's kind of gross. It definitely needs to be cleaned. All right. Those are some cool vintage earrings. They also need to be clean though. They do say they're made in Germany. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Or do they say Japan? Wait, does one say Germany and one says Japan? That's really weird. They're like exactly the same, but this one says Germany and this one says Japan. I'm so confused by these. So confused. I, I don't get it. I don't get that one at all. Oh, I, apparently I dropped a bunch of stuff right here. Um, random one earring. Random jewelry part missing most of everything. Definitely a crafter's piece. We'll put that in the craft pile there. Cute little kids. Um, little, little kids, little bracelet. It's cute. All right. Um, well, this is pretty, but I will never get it out of here probably. Oh, look. Ha, a fish. It's a fish. That's funny. If anybody's interested in a little barracuda. That's cool. For those of you who might be watching on YouTube, or if even if nobody is watching on YouTube, I didn't really like let a lot of people know that I was going to do this. I got the box today. I probably should have told more people, but you know what? I just like doing jewelry unboxing. So if you join me, I'm happy. If you don't, if you're not able to make it, that's okay too. I'm doing this for fun. This is a cool piece. This is definitely all jewelry making right there. It's like a stretchy piece of junk jewelry. That's really neat. We're just going to, just in case, pin that in case anybody's interested. Mardi Gras type beads. Put over there. It's a regular stretchy bracelet, but um, it's a little dirty, so I'll put it in like the crafting pile. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. It's another one of those big, big wrap bracelets. This one doesn't appear to have anything wrong with it, except that I can't open it because, yeah. But yeah, just faux leather big crafting bracelet kind of thing. Very cool. Hi, welcome in. Thanks for joining. I'm doing a live uh, mystery junk jewelry box unboxing. Um, as I go, if there's something that you're interested in, I can run it for you. I also will periodically time to time just change or spin my little um, lazy Susan here. And if there's something that you're interested in, I can go ahead and run it. So let's go ahead and go on to the next item. All right, let's see. There's a plastic bangle for little kids. I'm noticing a lot of little kids things in here and that's okay. That is okay. But it is definitely, definitely kind of, this is definitely a junk piece. I'm gonna put that in my separate junk pile. It's just one big long strands of beads that I've already kind of fallen apart. Put that in the separate junk pile over there. Whoops, I dropped something on the floor. Okay, I do not understand what's going on with this. There is a pendant attached here. Maybe it's two pieces of jewelry, probably is. Oh, it is, okay. And then there's this one right here. It's mainly, it's definitely craft because it's missing that piece. 
So that's definitely cute too, because you could put like whatever color bead you wanted in there. I love the little purple heart there. That's really cool. That's a neat, I think that's neat. This one's all junk. So I'm just gonna put it in the junk pile to the side. And the junk pile to the side is things that are really, really broken or kind of gross. Um, I will not auction off things I think is gross. Oh, this is cute. This is just a little, I think you could put it on a bracelet. It says, um, with brave wings, she flies. So it's just like a little angel thing you could put on any kind of bracelet that might be like a wire bracelet or a um, bead bracelet. So that's a cute piece. Part of jewelry crafting earring. That in the junk pile. I think, is this both earrings? Or this is one earring that is like carpet. I think this would need to be washed. <laughs> is this on a bracelet? That would be funny. Nope, it's just a random dinosaur with a pearl. Or no, he's he had a pearl, but he's just a random dude. Random little dragon guy. Um, and a random little bracelet. It's a nice wooden bead necklace. I think it would look really cool if it was painted, though it is broken in a couple places, so it might need a little bit of filing down. There are, like, really random things in here, like this is a leaf but i have seen people make earrings out of these things so you could make an earring out of this you could make an earring out of this it's all that kind of stuff i feel like i saw one of these already this one's coming apart a lot on the back um but yeah it's a pretty pretty if it was glued back down maybe Definitely more of the junk random pieces. I'll put that to the side. Put the little toys maybe to the side too. I don't know, there's not jewelry. Cute little bango, bangle. This one looks like This is just a really dirty chain. Hi, welcome in. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I'm doing a live um, kind of mystery jewelry unboxing junk jewelry lot. If you see something you, you like, just let me know and I'll run it for you. And periodically I do spin my wheel of things that have already been taken out. And if you see something you like on there, definitely let me know. I'll tell you about it and then I'll run it. All right, we'll put that piece there. Okay, this one looks like another random one-off earring and some more Mardi Gras beads. I feel like I had some other ones over here too. Nope, those are broken. So we'll put them in the center. Mardi Gras beads. This is a cool long tassel, but it's like stuck to something. Oh, it's a magnet. Wow. Okay. This is totally um, a pendant of some sort, just a long dangly little pendant with something inside of it. That is odd. Huh. Well, I guess like that would still be cool as a little pendant piece. Let's see what else there is. Another little kid's little bitty bracelet. Man, there's a lot of weird stuff in here. Little compact, technically not jewelry. Uh, says Baroom on the back. 
and I can't figure out how it opens, so we'll put it in the non-jewelry stuff. How did I have zero people in here? That was weird. Oh, that's fun. It's a little angel ornament, vintage. Could definitely be used to make a pendant if somebody wanted to do something like that. Put it with the non pieces. A little basket of some sorts, not a jewelry piece either, but would be cute for a piece of jewelry. Wow, this is just goes on and on and on and on. Oh, another bag of toe rings. Another bag, toe rings. Definitely more Mardi Gras beads. Oh, but the cool kind, like the cool Christmas Mardi Gras beads kind. Here is another earring that I can't get off up here. There's like two of them going together. Put that there. These Mardi Gras beads are cool. They're like the triple strand, which is really neat. That is very cool. Those are neat. Hi, welcome in. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I'm doing a live uh, junk jewelry unboxing. If you see something during the stream that you like, I'll go ahead and run it. And periodically, I will turn my turntable. And if you see something that you like, you can let me know as well. And I will also run it. This is everything coming out of the box. Another random earring. That one is a little dirty. I don't understand why I'm disappearing from my own live stream. That's kind of odd. And there is also this beaded necklace. It's cute, pretty beads and not dirty either, which is cool. Oh, here's the other Mardi Gras beads. Put them in the Mardi Gras pile. A really cute little keychain that says Cayman Islands. Very cute. This is an earring. Wow, look at all those cool beads on that earring. That's really neat. Even if, like, I don't wind up using finding the other earring with this, I could make my own separate earring that would maybe have a couple different ones on there as well. Put that in the random earring pile. Hmm. Yeah, that that's gross. Okay. Two more little bangles. Very nice. Them in the bangle pile. Just like a little bead stretchy bracelet. Very cool. This is a metal bracelet. That's neat. Like different types of metal. Or is it like an anklet? I suppose it would be like a bracelet. Yeah, it's a bracelet. That's a cool bracelet. neat little pendant piece, I would guess. That's cool. And for those of you who are on YouTube, if you are watching, I don't see anybody on YouTube right now. That's okay. <laughs> um, all of these auctions I am starting at $2 unless of course it's like for a bunch of different things or something. Um, And I would put a couple different things together probably to run. There is not a lot of things on there, but what this would look kind of cool, don't you think? If you wrap this in gold and maybe colored it, that would be a cool thing. 
going to see if I can't change. Let me try this again. I wanted to change this more to instead of instead of jewelry because I feel like crafting would make more sense. Let's do this instead and update and maybe we'll get people who are more interested in crafting. So we'll just update that. But that is really cool. I think that would be a cool bracelet of some sorts. Yeah, that's neat. Another little bracelet, which the thing is missing here, but you could add a new one. It needs to be hammered back into shape. This is a cool little bracelet as well. It's like bronze. That's really neat. Definitely think this would need to be washed. It's some kind of beaded thing. But could be cool. It's a little kid's paracord bracelet. I feel like this is like gonna be like a necklace that goes with. I don't think I'm going to get through all of this tonight. There it goes. Nope, it's still attached weirdly. I don't know. That's going to be stuck in there. Oh. That's kind of cool. Some vintage buttons. Vintage buttons are neat. Another little bangle. Another little kid's bangle. Another little bangle as well. Hi, welcome in. I think this originally said spooky, but it's missing an O and other letters on the other side. I think you could just peel them off and then maybe put something else on or find new letters. That would be neat. Oh, it's too bad there's not more on there. This looks like it would be old, but then this looks like it'd be new. Like it's from a grocery store or something. So one lone earring by itself. Oh, this is a cool little cuff bracelet. Nice and heavy metal. That's cute. Um, and I think it might be a Buddha on a bracelet. Cute. Some junk jewelry. Some random beads. Wow, some of these, I'm just, like I said, I'm not going to get out. Um, another bangle. Another bangle. You definitely could run these in lots. That would make the most sense, probably. This is a broken earring. I don't even get this earring. It's like, supposed to go in like that? I don't know. 
Interesting. Definitely another bangle. This is the box of the bangles. Oh, look, another dinosaur. <gasps> There's two of these. Or it's a dragon. Oh, they're two different kinds. It's still, you could probably make it into something neat. That's cool. This is a tiny, tiny little cuff bracelet. I guess it opens up like that. Definitely needs some polishing, but still pretty neat. One little Dalmatian earring. One little bracelet. I guess what I can say out of this is at least, I don't know. I do not know what's happening with some of this stuff. I think it's just a big tangle. I'm gonna just show real quick. Ooh, that's not good. Well, the tangle that is all of that. My phone just totally fell off. Okay, there we go. Back to normal. Back to normal with the sand. Sorry about that. This bracelet needs help. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I'm surprised this didn't break. There's actually a whole ring stand in here. That's really neat. Does that mean there might be some rings? Maybe. That definitely needs to be cleaned. Little kid beads. A ginormous earring. Man, so many things are tangled here. I mean, I'm not surprised. It is a junk jewelry box. A lot. And then there is one earring again. I think this is going to turn into a detangling session. What is this? This would be kind of cool. It's, um, could be a neat little, um, earring set. I think these are really neat. I don't know what that's made out of. It's like plastic. Just take this off and then maybe utilize both of these as an earring. The ones that have the most red there. And then this one could be the pendant. I like that. That's cool. It's got a bunch of stuff with it. It's definitely a jewelry making supply part. Santa. Looks brand new. It's like a little cross or something. some kind of cross with letters that are random. And then on the other side, it says, has some kind of religious figure on it. I don't know who, 
I feel like the words on it are made up. Like it's it's costume jewelry made to look like religious jewelry, but isn't. I'd have to look that one up. I have no idea. Oh yeah, made in China. That makes sense. Hi there, welcome in. I am doing a live junk jewelry unboxing. If you see something you like, let me know and I'll run it for you. I'm periodically showing my table here. And if you see something on it, just let me know. Thanks for joining. A lot of it is in tangles, that's for sure. Um, it's a 10 pound box and there is, there is some cool stuff and there is a lot of crafting materials and there is a lot of junk that's just kind of gross too. Um, but that, that, the gross stuff is rare and uh, at least. Cool little earring missing the back, but would we'll go probably be a cool little pendant. I'm gonna put that in the earring, random earring pile set. Mm. How's your night going tonight? Is it going pretty good? Let's see. Okay, so this is an earring that would need to be fixed to put back into shape. Put that where the single earrings are. Oh, that's kind of cool though. It's got like glitter. Could use some more glitter, add some glitter glue to it. And another random single earring couple more random single earrings. What's a random single hoops? Bracelet that needs to be put back together or hammered back into shape. Another random earring. A beluga whale. A chain for one of the many pendants. Ay, 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 ay. Look at that mess. That's mess. That's what I'm going for here. That's what we're looking at. That is trash. Okay. Really wish I could get this gold thing out. Oh, maybe, maybe, no, not yet. Okay. Oh, 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 yep. I got it out. So I wonder kind of if this went with the other part earlier. No, they both have their own. So this is some kind of long necklace that is put into a ball of some sort. Um, yeah, or I don't even know if it's a necklace. It's almost like a chain of some sort that goes like this. Hmm. That is definitely different. You definitely could make it into a, a pendant there. I mean, a pendant. Blah. A necklace there. Hi, everyone on YouTube. Who's there? I just saw that there's a couple people watching. Um, so thanks for watching and joining tonight. I appreciate it. There's definitely a lot of tangles in this box. Here's another one of those unicorn bracelets. This one's missing its horn though. So that is like a very tiny little kid's one, but I can actually, it's stretchy enough to get over my own hand. This would look really cool, whatever it is, but it is so tangled, maybe I can get it out. Okay, I'm going to try this instead. 
Oh, that's funny. It's like, um, you know, those little boxes that you have um, force and garlic and herb little mini brands or something um, that you could do. So that someone already made some, I've never heard of force and interesting, but you could wear those as earrings. Let me know if you've ever heard of Borson. You know, I've been buying most of my hauls and everything on whatnot or with pictures that show a lot of what it is and definitely not junk jewelry, but I, I know jewelry sometimes smells, but I never smelled the metallic smell like it smells, you know, like, so I think this is a belt of some sort. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it looks like a belt. It's kind of cool belt. Don't know how big it is though. That just means that there is some jewelry in here that definitely needs to be washed. But that's what happens when you get a mystery jewelry in box. Oh, is that like a, I'm gonna bring up the whole thing just to show the one piece. But this is like some kind of crystal in there. That is really cool. Too bad it's stuck to like everything under the sun, including a bunch more Mardi Gras beads. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, um, just so you know, this, this junk jewelry box, the shipping was paid for by the platform that I got it off of. So it was like they were having a paid for shipping. So I didn't pay any shipping. And then the box itself um, was not very expensive. It was only $13. So all of the items that do turn out good, I should be able to make my money back if nobody buys on whatnot. Um, and that's okay because I'm doing this for funsies and for crafting. I can't remember bracelet, bracelet. Why can't I remember the word bracelet? All right. Hope everyone's night is going well tonight. This is another bangle bracelet. This box is full of bangle bracelets. Oh, is that a matching earring? I think it is. There is an actual pair of matching earrings, both wooden, both not too bad condition. Could still use a wash. Bangle bracelet that needs to be hammered back into shape or glued or scrapped. Another religious metal, brand new in the package. Another one of those like little feather earrings, but with snakeskin kind of thing going on. That's cool. It's my earring pile. Little kid bracelet. A dolphin. Add that to my sea creatures pile. I'm starting to get one. I think this was made into an earring, maybe. It's kind of cool. Very cool. Make change. Tiny little bracelet with a plastic thing. Big hoop earring. I wonder if there's a match. I just put a ba couple bangles in like 
the hoop earring pile because they look similar, I think. No, that's not a match. Let me move all the bracelets over, though. Wow, I'm getting quite a big fill here. It's going to be kind of hard for anybody to see in there. This is a... I guess it's a fake purple heart keychain. Because it doesn't look... I mean, like, that's that's odd. Never seen anything like that before. Interesting. If you know anybody who had a purple heart, maybe they'd want a keychain of it. Some bracelets that need to be hammered back into shape and another plastic little kid bracelet. If I could get this out, this would be so cool. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Oh, I think I saw the match of this earring earlier, maybe. Or maybe I'm seeing the same one. But that's really cool. It's like a um, floral uh, faux leather um, earring. It's a nice little beaded necklace. bunch of different hearts all together coming out. Um, an earring that's stuck to it. Another earring that's stuck to it. It's like a gold tone. fabric -y kind. Come on. Well, that'll not come out right now. And then a plastic, I think this is a magnet. Yep. Magnet with one necklace here. Okay, that's not coming out. That one definitely is a craft piece. And one big necklace here going on that's definitely a craft piece attached to... Is this the same earring? I think so. Um, and something that you could put a pendant on. All right, let's see. Another bracelet. And I think we're going to stop in the next couple of minutes here because there is a lot on the table and a lot of this just needs to be untangled, I think. But another um, earring. I appreciate everyone who's come out tonight to watch me do this unboxing. It's definitely interesting to order a mystery box. You don't know all that's in there. Um, yeah. But I think it was definitely worth it as I almost get stabbed by some little pins. That would not be good. Um, got to put those back together. They're probably going to lose all their little beads otherwise. How do these go back together? Oh, it's a pink one. Put the pink one in the pink one. I should know better than to reach into random boxes that might have random pins without like gloves. But here we are anyways. Okay, there we go. That's kind of cute. It's missing a couple beads on the pins, but they're um, they're not like uncommon beads. That could probably be re-strung and redone.
I got another fish. It's a fish. I wish I had matching fish. If I had matching fish, I could make earrings. Or I could do like the new trend is to have different earrings. I don't really understand that trend, but it is definitely something. I've seen it a lot. Is this kind of cute? This looks vintagey. It's like a three strand necklace. It's kind of cool. And I think it might even not be broken completely. Cause it's got the hook clasp right here. One of the things I got recently is a jewelry cleaning machine. So I think it's going to be earning its keep very well with some of these things that could be used. This piece is really cool. I'll just pull it out. If it wasn't attached to everything under the sun, I think it might have a signature on it. No. <laughs> But it looks cool. I like it. It's attached to at least two other pieces in this. Or is it this? It could be this. No. Just a bunch of mess. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. If your name is Alyssa and Ashley. There it, that's really actually kind of funny. I actually know two people who are in the same family um, named Alyssa and Ashley. And I think this goes, I, I don't think I broke it. I think it's like magnetic, but it's some kind of keychain and magnet. That's funny. But I think this Alyssa and Ashley is a boy and a girl. Hmm. I know what's happening to all this jewelry after the show. It's going to get washed in my sink. That definitely needs some kind of washing or something. Something fell off of that one. is something. Oh, one of those emergency bracelets. There's no name on the back. So that would be like really helpful to somebody who might need this um, kind of bracelet. That's kind of cool. Looks in good shape too. So they could put their own name and information on it. Here's another big, I swear I just saw the other one for this. Very big copper colored um, bangle, uh, bangle earring. I used to wear bangles this size a lot when I was younger. Oh, that's an earring. Another little bangle. bangle that needs help. Earring. Earring. Is that an acorn? It's a painted acorn. That's kind of cool. A real acorn made into a pendant. I think it's real. It looks painted. It's cool. A couple loose earrings again. like the cooler stuff on the bottom really some hair thing like this I think I had one of these scrunchy things before it's like does something have to look into it Ooh, that's cool I don't like it as a bracelet, but I would like it as some kind of um, 
maybe a couple of earrings and then a necklace, but restrung. I think I got my wish. I have a fish and I have another fish and they're almost the same. I've got a shark. Do, 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 do. A random earring, a random earring. A matching pair of earrings, brand new appears with one extra. Oh, wait, the other one fell off in here. So brand new earrings. A vintage earring. Another random earring. Here's that other part that was made into an earring. Somewhere that's around here. Well, I think I know what I'll do for next time. This is a neat one. That one is really cool. Just needs to be um, put back together right here, it looks like. That's cool. What I'll do for next time is I'll wash these things, get them separated more. And then um, know a little bit better about what we're dealing with. Here's a marble. Let's see. And another necklace. It's kind of cool. It's like the, it's called like horse bit. Is that little pattern? It's a neat necklace. Little tarnish, but not too bad. So you can see kind of, again, there is lots and lots of things that have come out of this 10 pound box, but still more. I think I'm going to go on until about eight and then we'll call it a night and then we'll check back in when some more of this stuff is clean and sorted a little more little religious thing I forgot what these are called this one's made in China so it's a recent not vintage but made to look vintage another bracelet Earring part. There's definitely a lot of cool things in here. Just kind of all stuck together. Oh, this is cool. It's like a mismatch, asymmetrical type of um, jewelry thing. That's neat. Those are nice beads. Um, they're plastic, but still nice. Long, long chain necklace or something. And some more Mardi Gras beads. And this came out of there too. Another earring. I want to get out this piece that it's attached to like everything. It's a really cool little wood chunk. But again, it's attached to everything. Oh my gosh, is this a heart? Uh, this is a shark tooth necklace. Why is it attached to this? Come on. That's cool. I've always wanted a shark tooth necklace or to have a shark tooth. It's like not something that I've ever done. 
or have. Don't know why, just never found the need to. But there it is. A little star and flower bracelet. Hi there, welcome in. Um, I'm going to be on for a couple more minutes tonight, but what I'm doing is a live unboxing of a junk jewelry box. Broken bracelet. Bangle bracelet. Ew, this is weird. Okay. Another bangle bracelet. One clip on earring. Hopefully, the other one's in there too. Kid ring. What is this? Oh, this is cool. This is made out of beads. It's like a little um, Christmas ornament type of star. That's really pretty. That would be cute, like on one of the, um, maybe they're still in here, but there's like these little bead necklaces and you could put it on there. They're not quite the same color. Like these are more um, yellowish, but this one, this one's more white. That would look better. There's a couple of those. That one's the yellow one again in there, but they're all jumbled up, but that's really cute. Pick up during a live show. It's not going to work, is it? Hi there. Thank you so much for joining tonight. I'm going to be on a couple more minutes, but um, what I'm doing right now is a live jewelry unboxing um, of a junk jewelry lot. That is kind of a mystery to me. Um, obviously, I have it open now, so it's not completely a mystery anymore, but you're welcome to kind of, if you see anything that I put up in the next couple of minutes or so that you're interested in, and of course, I'll go ahead and at this point, it's just kind of like a crazy, crazy bunch of stuff that has come out of here at this point. But if you see something that you like and you would like me to run it, I can go ahead and do that. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. How was your night tonight? I hope everyone's having a good night. Here is a cute little red seed bead necklace. Or not seed bead, just little beads. Still cute though. And then hmm, that is very tangled and is not coming apart. One random crafting earring. That's cute. Um doesn't even look like it's missing any little rhinestones, but it's a cute little earring. Another cute earring. Black leather earring. Got a lot of these feathers. Maybe I'll put them together after I wash them or something and do mismatch earring lots. Cause here's a blue one blue one like that. This is a cute little um, Avon, broken Avon um, bracelet for like, I think breast cancer. That's cute. Hi there, welcome in. What I'm doing is a live um, jewelry unboxing of a junk jewelry lot. I'll be on for a couple more minutes and then I'm going to be getting off. But if you see anything you like in this time, and I've taken out a lot of stuff already, just let me know and I'll go ahead and run an item or so, a couple items or something for you. Um, 
this looks like it's oh, and I dropped it. Of course I did. Um, a little ring that is acrylic. Hope you all are having a nice night tonight. One screw back earring. A zipper that is basically just a random zipper. And some more random jewelry pieces for crafting. And I wish this was not all tangled. That's a cool little um, jewelry or what used to be, I think, an earring. There's the back part. It's broken, obviously, but it would be a cool crafting piece. Maybe made into a new necklace or something. It's neat. I think I found a guitar pick. Guitar pick. Bolo pick. Has been plays guitar. I technically have a guitar. I don't play it though. Random piece of costume jewelry part. Tiny little skull. Must have been like a button or a pin at one point. It's cute. Sugar skull. Um, a clip on earring of some sort. bracelet and bangle bangle bracelet got a lot of those tonight and a bangle earring I feel like I had a separate pile for bangle earrings and bangle bracelets and now I feel like they're the same this must have been cute at one time with like a little um bead on it feels like the same material like a metal or something that's kind of cool be a cool pendant if there is a cool bead for it is this a bead you look, you could put, does this fit? No, but that's a cool bead nonetheless. Little kid kind of bracelet or Valentine's Day bracelet. Little jewelry part that says inspire. The other earring was around here somewhere, but this one is broken and it is missing a stone, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool pink bead. Like that. I wish there was another. That'd be cool. A angel pin, guardian angel pin. That's cute. Back of a watch. I'm just gonna put that to the side. I don't want to show it because it doesn't make sense to show a back of a watch. A vintage looking earring. That's kind of cool. It's like, I don't know, aqua colored. That's neat. Friendship bracelet. It's like really finely woven too. Like somebody had skill to make that if they didn't get that like store bought. I can do, well, look earlier, I did find some more of these. I thought they would make really cool earrings and a necklace with added parts to it. There it is. So that one had three and then that's two. So those could make some really cool earrings, I would think. Another kind of shell uh, earring and other interesting part of an earring. It's one earring, though. I'm going to show ooh, one more thing because I did get to the bottom of the box that 
This one was put in a wrapper or in a plastic bag. So a nice, cute little seed bead necklace. I don't know if it's all set in there yet or not, but I think that's probably a good stopping point. It's a tea earring. And I want to thank everyone who came and watched today. And I want to thank everyone on YouTube. This is my first experience trying to do a double feature here, um, doing whatnot, unboxing live and while streaming on YouTube. Um, so thank you so much for coming. Again, if you're interested in whatnot, you can use my code to sign up or someone else's code to sign up. Just check it out. It's a fun place. Um, definitely very interesting things going on all the time, especially if you're into jewelry. Um, there's people who do shows like chat shows and there's clothing shows and there's jewelry shows and there's just any kind of show you could think of for any kind of interest that you might have. But thanks so much for watching and I appreciate your time here. I hope you have a great night and um, I'll see you soon on YouTube or on whatnot. Bye-bye.